Hey, how you guys doing? I've been putting up a lot of videos of uh, bullshit work that I have to go out and take care of. And it's just all part of being a service guy in the electrical industry. But uh, every once in a while, I get to go out on something fairly interesting and uh, makes my brain think a little bit more than blown out outlets in the back of a fourplex. But nonetheless, this is a uh, control panel for a self-service car wash bay. And this actually takes care of uh, two bays. Okay, so when you hit the selector dial on your car washes, within all these controls here for your your rinse, your wash, your brush, your uh, degreaser, your final rinse, and so on and so forth, this is where all the controls come back in, and it goes into a bunch of solenoid valves. Unfortunately, I didn't get any pictures of that, but it goes into the different solenoid valves that allows the uh, different types of fluids, detergents, and so on and so forth to, to go out. But the call that I got out was that the um, uh, pump in the whole bay itself just wasn't working. Okay, So I went in and opened up the control panel here to, to see what was going on. And um, as you can see, there's, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. And so there's one side, there's one bay there's the other bay right there and then that's one contactor that's the second contactor this particular contactor was the problem okay so um, once you get into these and know exactly what each one of these wires is for you, you got a corresponding wire that goes out and they're color coded you can really kind of tell what's going on um, you know as far as the power that you have out there if you're not getting a, uh, let's say, a degreaser, uh, you can actually trace this back, follow this on down, and then these all pop out and go out to the individual solenoids. Okay, in this case, the whole damn bay wasn't working, so I came straight to the control panel and found out that the contactor was not kicking in. There was a, a problem with that. Okay, and basically all it was was the coil for some reason had melted and it wasn't allowing the contactor to pull in so every time that the switch was pulled out at the, the bay wash it wasn't allowing that contactor to pull in and make contact it was uh, trying to trying to suck it in but it just wouldn't do it but uh, these are all pretty much the same pictures here's the solenoids that I was talking about earlier so, uh, you know, when you hit your rinse cycle, it'll send a signal out. It'll open up the uh, particular valve for your soaps and so on and so forth. But um, just kind of wanted to show you this. It's a little bit more interesting sometimes to have to go in and troubleshoot this stuff. Uh, there's timer modules in here the and all the controls. So I don't deal with just a bunch of garbage bullshit crawling through attics all the time. Every once in a while I get to... Uh, get out there and, and test the the brain a little bit so anyway just thought I'd throw this up real quick hope you guys have a great day